How's it going guys? Me David here for another shave. Happy Easter everybody. It is Easter Sunday. Um, I don't even remember what the date is offhand, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic time with your friends and family. I have a little bit of time to myself this morning. Uh, my family, well, the kids and Rocio went with my oldest stepdaughter and her in-laws. So they're at the park having like a Easter thing. Um, I guess my older stepdaughter's um, her fam, her in-laws have a lot of like grandchildren and nephews and nieces, so they're doing their thing. Not really my thing. I don't even like being around my own damn family, uh, let alone other people's family. I'm, I'm a hermit, I guess, in that sense. And um, I just kind of wanted to be home, man. I haven't had many days off. It's uh, both time shaving. They gave us the, the Sunday off, so I'm finally home. I get to just relax and. I've been needing it. i just been needing to chill. So I'm joining you guys right quick for a good shave. I got Soul Commander Influence, Tobacco, Cherry, and Black Tea. That's an awesome combination. Little disappointed by the scent strength. Um, for whatever reason, when Soul Commander uses tea in their scents, they have a tendency to go very light-handed with the scents in general. And that's a bit disappointing because Cherry, I love Cherry. If um, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but in my community, especially amongst Hispanics, you go into a car and the odds are you're going to smell a cherry air freshener. That's just how it is. I've spent my whole life with people that I know and even myself today. You go into my truck, it smells like cherry fragrance in there. It just, I, I love it. Then you got tobacco and then black tea. If you guys follow my channel at all, you know I love black tea. So I just, this scent had the possibility to be fantastic, just knock your socks off, for me at least, but it's really light. So that's a little bit disappointing. It's so Commander, so I already know the performance is going to be fantastic. It's going to be one of the slickest things around. Um, I've always felt that way, the Soap Commander is one of the slickest soaps in existence. But this scent, I'll tell you right now, I am disappointed by the scent strength, but it's still nice. So hopefully when I lather it up, it'll kick up in the scent right now. I am blooming this soap, so I have hot water sitting on top of it right now. And I'm going to go ahead and lather it up with my favorite boar brush, the Samog. I think it's the 630, but I can't remember the damn numbers. I just love this damn thing. So I'm going to go ahead and wet my face. I'm going to take this bloom water and use it to go ahead and blow it off. Yeah, dude. It's, 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 it's a nice scent. I, just, I, I really, really wish it was stronger. It, and it's really unfortunate that it isn't, but... Oh, that smells so damn good. So, let's check it out. And I am using my Above the Tie Razor. This one right here is shave number 23 on the Persona 74 blade. So, um, I think it's going to be easy to say that it will hit that 25 shaves. I am going to try to press it to 30 and see where it goes. But this is shave 23. Pretty awesome. So, let's go ahead and load this baby up. I hope you guys are having a hell of a time. Went to go see my goddaughter and her little brother. Uh, Rocio made some nice little baskets for him, for them both. And so we went to go deliver them this morning. Um, my goddaughter's little brother, he actually cut off a chunk of his finger about a week ago. Um, got it caught in the door. He was running and kind of closed the door while he was running through the door. And it got caught. And yeah, he took the tip off of it. So um, they're actually going to go to the doctors and get another uh, procedure in order to like get the skin covering what he exposed so um he's a tough little dude man he's uh, about four years old and he's just tough as nails man he's handling it great but you know, just can't help but feel bad for the dead kid you know take off the tip of your finger um i'd freak the fuck out just just say i'm a grown-ass man but I'd, I'd be unconsolable but you know young boys being what they are they're just they're durable as shit and you know so he's taking like a chef he was happy he's, he's seen his basket and he was just loving life so you know god bless him Load up nice and heavy. Yeah, I still don't know of, of a board brush that lathers better than this thing. This is great. Broken Edge is one of the best balances of softness and backbone out of any, any board brush I've used. Gonna need more water. Pretty dry. No biggie. Got 
I lathered one everywhere. Shit. So, yeah, man. So, a bit tired, dude. Just a bit of a grind. I'm on vacation from work. I work at a school, and it's now all over spring break. So, I got some time off. So, I'm just going to be able to, you know, hopefully, just enjoy this next uh, week or so. You know, up to the warm up, to the big shape wash, which is cool. That couldn't have happened in any better timing having my spring break when, you know, we're having people coming from all over the world. I think Douglas is supposed to be here tomorrow. Peter Tricatis, I think, is going to be in town tomorrow. He has some business to handle in Orange County. So I probably won't see him for a minute. I probably won't see him until later on the week. He has to come here and make somewhat of a business trip out of it, too. So, um, he's going to be a little busy, but I'll catch him during the week. And then most of the people will be here around that Thursday-ish uh, time. So, it's going to be cool. Need a blade with some hot water to go. First pass. No. About four days growth, so it's legit growth that they're just taking off. Still taking it off smooth. It, it is not as sharp as it was 10 shades ago. Definitely not. There's a drop off in sharpness, but if you're paying attention, it's still, it's still at least taking off hair. And no tugging. I'm not getting any kind of tugging. It just you just could tell it's just not being as efficient as it once was. Yeah, so it's nice. I'm just by myself here. Get to spend time with my dogs. I actually miss my damn dogs. Like, I see them, but I get home late, and I'm already, like, tired and stuff. So, it's, like, it's cool to be able to, like, see them, and then actually want to, like, play with them, wrestle with them and stuff. Actually, at this point, they're tired. They're over there laying in bed, trying to take a nap, and I'm, and I'm harassing them. So, I'm like, well, there's no birds out. I might as well come and do my, my damn shave video already. Now, like, I was going to do a shave video a couple days ago, but my best friend, I haven't seen him in a while. He, he came over. He was here till like, 2 in the morning. And um, that was cool. It was nice seeing him. I haven't seen him in a while. He's a, he's a father of three. So, you know, he's busy. So, it was really nice seeing him. So, him being here for a damn right, I'm not trying to do no damn shave video at 2 in the morning, so. Awesome stuff. Easy to form lather, man. This is awesome. And again, in terms of slickness, some of the best stuff. Who's here? AJ. You guys are back already? No, I gotta pick up some stuff. Okay. Who brought you? Video. Ah, okay. So, AJ's here picking something up. Awesome. Yeah, it's been my opinion, and a lot of things what happens with shaving is when you're early on in your experiences, you say one thing, but then you start changing your preferences or your opinion changes because you've found some better stuff. Still to this day, and I've been saying it for probably three or four years, Soap Commander is some of the slickest stuff on the market. It just is. It's a vegan soap, and it doesn't have... That thick and creamy is not a Bear Stern Man lather. It's not a Haslinger tobacco type of lather. You can tell, typically. Again, except for uh, Crown King's, the Crown King formula by PAA. Um, that's probably the only one that the lather acts very similar to a tallow soap. Most vegan soaps are going to be a, a bit different. So, this is one of, the, one of those times. It's standard. It's a little bit thinner. Not watery, but just slightly thinner than than a tallow one, or at least a good quality tallow soap. This one, through all the stuff I've tried, Soap Commander is still slick as hell.
There we go. That's good. Two passes down. Pretty damn nice. Yeah, I need a haircut. I'm gonna cut my hair tonight. <laughs> Can you go ahead and rinse off some of the excess? Make sure my earrings don't fall off. I dropped an earring down the drain the other day. You guys don't see me with earrings all that often, but yeah, I've had my earrings. Had my ears pierced since I was like 15. I just always kept them. I've never been crazy with it, but I've always been into like piercings, tattoos, and crazy. Again, this arm is pretty much, for the majority, sleeved up except for right here, which I'm still debating whether I'm going to do right there. First off, nobody could ever really see it. Not even myself. I'm never like this. And it just hurts like a bitch. Like when you start getting the tattoos all in here, that kind of hurt. That kind of hurt too right here. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, I also want to continue on with this arm too. So we'll see. Feel like I feel angry. So if you use bore brushes, I notice there's a bit of a drop off. The, the the lather deteriorates a little bit quicker than what other with other brushes. If you got any tips or tricks that help with that, or if I just have to keep if if it gets bad, do I just reload? That's fine too. I don't have a problem with that. I don't use bore all that often. But when I do, it's usually this one or that 830, the one that looks like this but a red. Like a little bit of a drop off, but soap commander's actually been pretty damn good in this brush so far. I still say that that particular brush right there gives me my best lathers with Mitchell's Wolf Fat. Never have I got a lather as good with uh, Mitchell's Wolf Fat than that shit. So, third and final pass, across the green. There we go. So I don't know what I'm gonna do once the final gets over, but I'm sure we'll do something. So I'll throw a polo on right quick. I'm already for the most part dressed. Got my pants on. Try off the polo I had on because I'm going to shave and I didn't want to get lather all over it. So I'll need it for later on. I'm going to go, I gotta go drop off the basket for my little sister too. So, I'll be a little later on in the day. I'm gonna go ahead and line up these. Don't need to do a perfect job. I'm cutting my hair, so I just want to get a little bit, somewhat even. There we go. So cool, that's pretty much it. What I'm going to pair with this, I am not really sure. Mm. Um, I'm probably either gonna pair it up. It has a little sweet notes with the cherry. Maybe I'll do some propaganda. Uh, maybe Harvest Moon. Or maybe even the mobster. I'm not even sure, but you guys seen it. One more time, So Commander Influence. Excellent performance, since just too damn light. I'm so sad about that, because Dude, this, this scent has had the opportunity to be an absolute stud. 
and it's great it, it smells nice it's just too damn light so again a little bummed out this is a seasonal scent from soap commander it's one of their uh their winter scents i believe yeah it even says winter scent here so um jared and carrie if you're listening i would love to see this soap bumped up man throw as much essential oil or fragrance oils as you can in this bitch and just make it pop it's too light damn it dude it could have been so great this could have been one of the greats could have been one of the great ones but it's just too damn light so hopefully we can switch that up um i would love to see that bumped up for the next winter we're already halfway there this year's flying so um before you know it they're gonna have to make that again so we, let, let's make it happen so thank you guys for joining me have a happy easter enjoy the family your loved ones and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.